if I didn't take that leap of faith thinking little old me from Kenya could code and go to MIT and do that, I wouldn't be where I am today. My name is Moana Kumbhussain, but I go by Moana. I attended ID Tech in 2011 and it was hosted at MIT University. I studied electronic and computer engineering at Imperial College London and I'm currently a data scientist at Barclays in London. So I'm currently working at Barclays as a data scientist and I'm within the quantitative analytics fraud and surveillance team which pretty much just focuses on building machine learning models against anti-fraud, anti-money laundering or any kind of malicious acts that could be done on a financial level. I think the path that I took to attend my first ID Tech camp pretty much started when I was 13 when I was watching a lot of Marvel movies and Iron Man movies and I knew there's something cool happening with coding and I wanted to know more about that and eventually when I turned 16 my family's pretty big with 16th birthdays I decided to ask, can I go to ID Tech at MIT to do coding? And she just thought, really, out of anything you could want, that's what you want? And I said, yeah. And she just thought I was a nerd. And I was like, I am. <laughs> I flew across from Kenya all the way to the US all by myself at the age of 15, turning 16. I had no idea what I was getting myself into, what the place would be like, what the camp would be like, or even if I could keep up with the camp. It was just so much feelings and I was so overwhelmed. And I remember landing there thinking, my dream is about to start. I was super excited. Um, and pretty much it was just a journey about trying to make something that I always wanted from when I was 13 real. So what I learned at ID Tech was just programming and specifically C++ and just being able to know that I could write some syntax out, some lines of code and have that do something was super cool to find out and I just didn't know that was possible before then. So I think being able to be introduced to that for the very first time in the way that it was introduced was just pivotal. I was like, wow, I can do this. I got really confident to apply to like a really great university for engineering and I ended up going to Imperial College London, um, which is one of the top 10 universities in the world. And I did ECE, which is electronic and computer engineering. And I kept on working on C++, the same language that ID Tech had taught me. And eventually my first summer internship, I ended up actually deploying an application based on C++. And I thought to myself, wow, if ID Tech hadn't introduced me to this language, how would I have gotten so good at it? So it's amazing to think something I learned when I was 16 was a skill I was able to actually use during a summer internship and actually have an application that they're currently using with that same language. So I feel like the value of ID Tech was not just inspiring me, but it was the content itself was just just so useful and it was it's amazing to think I kept on building on that knowledge so if you feel like you need to know something before you can get started no just get into it take a leap of faith and it's going to lead you to so many places and I think if I didn't take that leap of faith thinking little old me from Kenya could code and go to MIT and do that I wouldn't be where I am today in London being a data scientist so I think you just have to believe in yourself more than anything and just know that you can do it and ID Tech will help you get there.